Hi, this is Wendell Odom, and welcome to this study plan video for the ICND 1 book, Chapter 3. This video and the others like it just give you some suggestions, tips, some coaching for four major phases of your study. The initial read of the chapter, the review of the chapter, the review of the book part, which is several chapters at a time, and then during final review. So let's take a look here at Chapter 3 of the ICND 1 book. Uh, titled Fundamentals of Lands. And in effect, it's a chapter that introduces Ethernet. So during this first read through, you're going to see some history about older Ethernet that uses an electrical bus, 10 base 5 and 10 base 2. You can skim that. That's a tool to help you understand more modern Ethernet. As you read through the chapter, you're going to see comments about hubs and switches. Well, hubs were considered passe by the mid to late 1990s but it's very useful for understanding modern switching and some of the terminology. So keep that in mind. You really want to understand switch as well, hubs for perspective and for the test. Then finally, toward the end of the chapter, you'll see some stuff on Ethernet protocols, in particular the headers and the trailer. So you want to pay a little bit more attention to those than some of the other topics. So focus in when you get toward the end. Now at chapter review time, you can play it pretty straight. Follow the recommendations at the end of the chapter. Uh, take a look at the terminology. Uh, nothing real fancy there. Now when you get to the part review, that'll be toward the end of chapter 6, there's a couple of things you can take advantage of. First of all, you'll understand layer 3 a lot better by then, IP. So you want to think about the interactions between layer 2 and layer 3. For instance, you want to think about what Ethernet addresses get used. When a PC sends an IP packet off subnet, what does that Ethernet frame look like? What's the source and destination MAC address? So that's a very important application of the concepts in this first section, and you should know enough by the time you're done with the first part to answer those kind of questions. Finally, you want to make sure you understand duplex and the whole hub versus switch concept again. Maybe not quite so important for real life today, but certainly important for understanding the concepts and answering questions. And then, of course, when you get done with the book, you'll be doing your final review. I would say when you're reviewing this chapter during your final review, check the jargon, check the terminology as always. You want to make sure you know that Ethernet header and trailer. Even if you don't remember exactly where every field is, you want to know what all the fields are and what they mean. And then back to the whole reasons for using particular MAC addresses. When do I see the router's MAC address versus a host's MAC address versus some other host MAC address? When do I see a broadcast MAC address and that kind of thing. Well, there's the study plan for Chapter 3. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.